Devorah Stern of DevorahStern.com and thank you so much for spending this time with me and most importantly on your own self-improvement, self-empowerment, and self-actualization. Some of us think that meditation is a key, mindfulness, oh we really really strive for that but it's so difficult for us. And I'm going to tell you first and foremost, it's very much a situation of people like myself, very quick thinkers. Now, have I ever taken any tests for ADHD? No. I have already thought of myself as growing up with this PTSD symptomology, so that's enough. But do I start things, stop things, have five million things going, have a hard time with completion, have a hard time with organization, have a difficult time with having too many irons in the fire? Yes, I do. I am a fast thinker. I'm trying to get too much done. I'm running two minutes late. Um, my clients already know that and I'm sure it very much irritates them, but they know that I'll be there within three, four minutes of their appointment time. It's very difficult for me to clear my mind, as it might be for you. I am going to say that this entire self-improvement process can happen in a couple minutes every day. So if you're only willing to dedicate a couple minutes to this process, yeah, it might take you 90 days, okay? But if you do wake up every morning, and whether you do this while you're lying in your bed physically, or if you get up with that victory pose, and you do tell the universe, thank you. Thank you for having this body. Thank you for giving me another day, another shot at my life. Thank you for whatever, if you have sight, if you have sound, if you have mobility. And if you really start your day like that, I am going to suggest that maybe you imagine or you go outside and you put your feet on the ground and if you don't have the ground, if you do have unpainted cement, cement is made up of aggregate of rocks. That in and of itself can be a physical ground. Body. It is difficult to clear your mind. But if you do this practice, the victory pose, whether in reality or in your mind, and remember our brains think in pictures, so the more vivid you can make it, adding colors, perhaps adding aromas, perhaps adding kinesthetics. And somebody just questioned me, the movement, that counterclockwise vertical vortex, and just telling yourself that everything that does not bona fide belong to you, whatever was in your family, was in that first seven years of being in the theta brainwave of your environment, and what it got handed down to you with your ancestors, all that, get rid of it with your intention each and every morning. Get rid of what does not belong to you with that counterclockwise vertical vortex. And I am going to tell you to try to spin around physically. That's what I do. Even if it's raining and cold, I might go out for one minute and get barefoot, get a little cold, and go on the earth and spin around three times. There is magic in the number three. And just try it. Try it every day for one minute. Try it every day at night 
for another minute. So we're literally talking about two minutes of every day. Now, since you're only donating two minutes to this process, one minute before you go to bed to think about what did work, how you did change, pat yourself on the back, be your best cheerleader, and tell yourself what you would like to work on when you enter that theta brain wave, because if you get any real sleep, you are entering the theta brain wave, that rapid eye movement sleep. So explain to yourself what you'd like to work on. And then there's the willpower bit. So tell yourself what you're going to do differently the next day. So then you don't have to use up the daily willpower, you've told yourself what you're going to do the next day, counterclockwise in the morning, sending into the ground what doesn't serve you, what actually does not belong to you. Some people do call these entities, and I'm not going to rule that out. So get rid of what doesn't belong to you, align with the planet, send anything negative into the center of the earth, that red hot magna that I'm saying is soothing mother nature love. I'm also calling it first plane. I'm also calling it first frequency, first plane from theta healing, first frequency from matrix energetics. Align with source creation, align with whatever you consider is God, the infinite, prana, Jesus, Buddha, whatever you connect with that is divine source energy. Maybe it's Allah. I call it Shekhinah. I call it a female name for God. And really, Get rid of that negativity. Get rid of what doesn't belong to you. Ground in the here and now. That is, in fact, a very positive process. So if you're only going to donate one minute before you go to bed and one minute when you wake up, I'm going to say you need to do this for 90 days. Devorah Stern, DevorahStern.com. I do personal appointments. It's just one click away on DevorahStern.com. Then feel free to call me. I'll check and make sure that the payment has gone through with PayPal. And I'll try to make you an appointment right away. So I'm available personally to work with you. Let me be your guide. You are your own innate healer. You can do this. My love. You.